All right, so here's my opinion on why people can't afford things. <laughs> I'll say one reason is that, um, like, the system that we're living in, we, we're living in a time where you can't afford anything because you, you're not compensated for what you're worth. And, like, cost of living's way more, and you can't afford to move out you're getting paid a shitty wage but back in the day you you did you would do the same type of job and would be able to get a house you would be able to get uh like a nice car and it's it's unfortunate you know <laughs> but it's just it's crazy and that's why people can't afford things people can't perk like the that's why the economy is going down and also there's a second reason why because it's overpopulated this whole this whole place is overpopulated this whole world and the more people you bring the more things are going to go up things are going to be scarce like food things are going to be like not that much land to build a house because there's too many people being born people saying that other countries are going down in birth rates like the US and I forget some countries in Europe but as a whole it doesn't matter about that the population around the world is going up and that's the issue you know and that's why things are costing too much you know what I mean even when you have a kid like it costs so much to raise a kid I mean and like things just cost too much like even health insurance like you can't afford to get quality health care because it costs too much you can't get like a good insurance plan because companies like give you the cheapest insurance plan and when something serious happens to you and they don't accept your insurance you're fucked you know, so it's it's messed up, man. Seriously. <laughs> and, like... Plus, the t another reason, too, is taxes. Like, like, that's why I don't like these politicians. Democrat or Republican. <laughs> like, I, I, I'll say I lean towards right with, like, the economics. Than, than left, because... These politicians like to steal your money, and... Someone like, for example, Joe Biden that doesn't, like, he takes he takes your money and he doesn't use it for something that's useful to help the people that are poor or people that, that are in need. They put it in their pockets, you know, and taxes is another one. Too much taxes is another reason why people can't afford things. If you just stop doing the taxes and stuff and because no one trusts these politicians with it and what they do because majority of them are corrupt maybe people would afford things more there wasn't so much taxes so that's another reason <laughs> I'll say another reason too is people like have bad habits people actually do like when I was smoking cigarettes for example I had to quit because it was going it was too expensive. And I wasn't able to save enough money because I had that bad habit. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I still smoke cigarettes like once in a blue moon and when I go out like once in a while because I still like to smoke, you know, but I can't do it on the daily because it costs too much. Like 10.50 a pack up here for Newport. Like if I smoked like a pack a day seven days a week that's seventy dollars and then times that that's about three hundred dollars a month and i can't afford that you know so people like can't afford things because they have bad habits i wouldn't say it's a hundred percent their fault but i feel like they have the control to stop like you know what i mean <laughs> like stop these bad habits you know <laughs> Like, drugs, too. Like, that's another one. 
Like, you can't, like, uh, control these habits. Like, say you take cocaine, you do it way too much, it's fucking up your finances. That means it's not, that's a bad habit, and you gotta get that out of there. Or you have to train yourself to do it once in a while, cocaine. You know what I mean? Or with food, like, if you just go out and eat all the time, it you're not gonna be... Because when you go out and eat, you're... This food has all this sugar and stuff. This fast food and, and everything. And you just eat that all the time. You get hungry, you buy more. And fast food is too expensive. You gotta do that once in a while too. And it's bad for your health too. And it's suffering. It's painful the older you get. And that can ruin your bank account. You won't be able to afford things. That's another one. That's why you need, like, you don't need that much food, like, seriously. You really don't need to eat that much to, like, to live. You just need, like, your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. And you don't need to eat that much to, like, survive in this world. But it's just, it's not people's fault, you know, and... It's just like the U.S. glamorizes, like, fast food and junk food. You know what I mean? And it's it's not good. Yeah, I feel like they should still have it, like, fast food and restaurants, stuff like that. But, um, let's turn on the light. Kind of got dark a little bit. But, because people can do what they want with the, like, how they eat. You know what I mean? But, that's just my opinion. Like, people should be eating healthier. And maybe they're, they would be able to afford things. Because <laughs> a lot of people have bad habits. And it comes from, like, school, for example. I guess that's a, there's a lot of examples of these bad habits, but... Like, school can give someone anxiety, and when they get out of school, they use these bad habits like biting their nails, whatever it is, or, um, like, bad habits of, like, buying too much of pizza or whatever, like, and you won't be able to afford it. It, it just, it just sucks, man. School doesn't teach you how to be financially right. You know, it doesn't teach you, like, how to, uh, save money, you know. So what's another reason why people can't afford things? Um... Say, too many bills, like, if... If you have too many things like like uh, too much Netflix or Spotify or it's too much stuff that you have in your like you gotta pick a couple like you like like say Netflix or Disney Plus and you gotta eliminate the others you know like stuff that you don't use you know what I mean and people that buy too much clothes it's unnecessary you don't need to buy too much clothes. You know, unless you, like, gained weight or lost weight. Yeah, but you don't really need to buy so much clothes. <laughs> you know, that was my problem, too. I used to buy a lot of clothes, you know, but... I was... I gotta, like, fix that. But, um... It's another one. Yeah, things that you don't use or need. Like, uh... Like... You gotta get rid of them and budget your money better. That's all. Um, it's another one why people can't afford things. <laughs> like for antinatalism, like people bring too many kids here and they expect, like, oh, I can't afford to take care of these kids. You're so selfish and you didn't prepare to, like, be financially stable for these kids. You just bring them out here because, oh, society tells you to and. 
you're not responsible and you're selfish all because you want to see a cute baby face. You know what I mean? So, it's another reason why people can't afford things. Um, it's just, um, like, things that are out of control, like an injury. Like, if you, like, uh, injure your leg and it costs so much money, it's hard to afford things because you got to pay that medical bill, you know, or things that are out of control, like the economy, like what I was just saying with the taxes and um, inflation, like stuff that's out of control is why people can't afford things. <laughs> um, what else? Another reason why people can't afford things. I think that might be it. Maybe I'll make a part two about this one. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Agree to dis or disagree with what I have to say. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys with maybe one or two more.